All right. Where's me harmonica? It's the crystal maze time. So, picked this up the other day in the charity shop there for £2.99. pence. thought it was pretty cool. Kind of really wanted to have a little look at this and play this. There was something in the back of my mind, though. Something deep, deep down the back of my mind. Anyway, today I popped round to me dear old Mars. I was having a bit potter about and having a look for some different bits and pieces, and lo and behold, only discovered that I already had it. <laughs> Don't you just hate that? And even more more of a kick in the uh, the, the goulash was that I originally paid 99 pence for it. But anyway, that's inflation for you, because I probably picked this up at least 10, if not sort of 12, 13 years ago. So I was kind of thinking, well, surely this mustn't be complete, and for me to kind of be thinking, let's get two. So I um, brought this back home with me. Uh, well, I had a rummage through, and it kind of seemed pretty much complete. Opened this one up, uh, which the lovely ladies in the charity shop decided to wrap with a full roll of wrapping tape. Wrapping tape? Sell a tape. <laughs> <laughs> wrapping tape. I don't know what you're talking about, Ben. But on, on, on wrapping this one, uh, the first thing I kind of jumped out that I didn't originally have was the instructions. So that was a bonus. So it's like, flip my neck, now I can actually play the game. I think that's why I got put away, because I thought at the time, why have a game that you can't actually play? Because I don't know what the rules are. And the internet wasn't really kind of invented back then, so you couldn't just go, oh, what's the rules for the crystal maze? Because there's a video where Polly Polly Poo Poo's made. That shows them. So pretty much just, you know, the world's most interesting instructions there. But additional to the interesting instructions was also this little pamphlet thing, uh, which kind of made me chuckle. Um, random kind of, is it a college, a school? Is it a prison, an institute? We don't know. Anyway, it has the daily record. So I'll just leave this on there for your viewing pleasure, but uh, see if this year, back in November of 1993, from the 1st to the 5th, this is what was going on in some people's lives. So there you go. So the other sort of discovery with this sort of set was obviously this is my original one here. And there you go. So there's all the bits and pieces in there. And as you can see, that kind of matches up nicely to the bits and pieces on the box. Only to discover that the one I've just gotten today is like the same but with the colours kind of reversed. So what's yellow is red and what's red is yellow. So I kind of totally didn't expect that at all. So there you go, variation fans. Bit of, bit of glory there. So I think between the two sets now, I kind of pretty much have a full set. Pretty much. So if anybody wants to challenge me to uh, crystals, then get your cell hour here and we'll have a bash. The only other thing that came in the set, just quickly before, is where I fall through the boxes. <laughs> He's levitating by using the power of his toe only. So here we have, if it'll actually zoom in to some... Technological git pressing the screen with your buttons and fingers. So there you go. I believe this is some kind of honey monster puzzle thing. <laughs> As the femme honey monster. <laughs> Look at that. Bit of lippy on. <laughs> that still do it. Right. Let's have a look what's this one going on. Oh, there he is. He's pulled. Beautiful. So, bit of sugar puffs. Kind of like them. Right. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed me little kind of oop doop at showing